Hey guys, so I just bought a uh, Westinghouse 9500 watt uh, gasoline, 8500 watt propane generator. It's my first time opening up. I thought I'd share it with you guys. So this is everything that came with it. Got your propane connection, plug for uh, charging the battery on the generator, oil funnel, the oil, and some tools to put the wheels and the front legs on. So, came in a box, had to put the wheels on, on the front legs. This is where you hook up your propane, get your oil, it takes the full uh, quart, got your battery, that needs to be plugged in on the first try, because this is a, um, like remote start, push button start, it also has a remote, or it's manually start. Switch between gas or propane, we'll be using gas, start button, Relay switch or smart switch. I believe you can connect that connect it to a box. And it'll turn the generator on and off depending if there's power or not to that box from inside your house. Uh, power switch. You got main circuit breaker. You got the uh, this is they call it the data center. I'll show you like voltage, frequency, total hours, runtime, main stuff like that. You got your, uh, these are the 220 amp AC circuits. You got a test and a reset. And then you got your two, you got one 120, 240 volt, 30 amp NEMA twist lock. And over here you have the uh, 120, 240 volt, 50 amp. An EMA receptacle. Down here you got the two circuit breakers. This is for charging the battery. It's down here for that automatic start and all that stuff. And as we go around the side, we we'll go on the top first. So it's a six six gallon tank. It also tells you if it's full or empty. It's pretty empty. I didn't put much in here. Here you got the pool start. Here's the remote switch. I gotta take that off. Air filter, fuel on off. Uh, around the back, not too much. Got their muffler and stuff like that. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, one thing I will say about this is it is super heavy. It took two people to get it in the back of my Jeep, and then me and my wife trying to get it out. So I recommend having somebody help you carry this. So let's go ahead and get set up and ready to go and we'll turn around and see what happens. Alright, so let's start this up for the first time and see how it works. Um, on the back side I did change it to um, automatic. You can see that automatic choke for cold start. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is all the way over. Breakers on, power light, press the button. Too much louder than any other generator I've heard. I'm gonna let it run for about 15 minutes and then shut it off. And now try to turn on with remote start. So I let it run for about 15 minutes or so. Uh, I was gonna come out here and test out uh, the MX start and then run for another 15 minutes and then maybe try the pull start. So let's go ahead and see how this does. It's on. Start. Pretty quick. All right, so I'm gonna turn this off with the key again because I didn't wait long enough last time. So.
And there it goes. Cool. So in the manual it said, before you turn off the generator, make sure everything that's plugged into it is shut off and unplugged from the generator. Then you can kill it. It also said not to use more than 50% of the wattage for the first um, five hours of runtime. So we'll have to see how that goes. I'm pretty sure my refrigerator doesn't even use half the wattage anyway. But we'll see. Alright, last thing I'm gonna try is to manually start it. So it's set to warm start. Everything's on. I think I just pull it. It says pull rapidly. Or pull once. Alright, so I got my generator running outside. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in, turn it on, see how it does. Um, I kind of googled online to see how much wattage one of these takes and they said around 4,500 starting watts and about 1,800 to constantly run. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out there, plug it on, plug it in, kick it on, and see how it handles. That's my overview for the Westinghouse uh, 9500 uh, watt generator. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully I'll uh, never have to use it, but that might defeat the purpose. But hopefully I'll never lose power. I will see you guys later.